It's that time of year again when Americans eagerly await the arrival of Girl Scout cookies, a tradition that has endured for over a century. While once baked at home, the cookies are now factory made with one common but controversial ingredient, palm oil. Mainly produced in Southeast Asia, palm oil has made its way into at least half of all packaged goods in the average supermarket and even used in biodiesel. But how it is made is provoking both ethical and environmental concerns. Now one Girl Scout troop is taking a surprising action, stepping away from the annual fundraiser that defines their organization. On my honor, I will try. In the basement of this Jersey City nursing home, Girl Scout Troop 12026 is in community service mode. Finish your last card, start cleaning up. Making cards for residents while brainstorming alternatives to the big fundraiser they ditched three years ago. Get your Girl Scout cookies here. The perennial Girl Scout cookie sale. Who here misses selling cookies? I miss selling them, but it's for a good cause. Troop leader Gina Vertabello sold cookies with her scouts for a decade until 2021, when a story in her local newspaper changed everything. There was an article on Olivia Chafin. She's a Girl Scout in Tennessee. She has a petition out to get rid of the palm oil and the cookies. I thought to myself, well, let me look more into it before I bring it to the girls, because I don't want to, you know, I don't know what truths there are. I don't want to rock the boat. <laughs> let me do my research. That research led to a 2020 Associated Press investigation of the $106 billion palm oil industry, an industry the AP linked to severe tropical deforestation and exploitative child labor practices. You see whole families out there uh, harvesting the palm oil because they have to reach certain quotas every day. And so a lot of times kids won't be in school to be out helping their parents reach those quotas. Ginger Cassidy has been on the ground with the Rainforest Action Network, a nonprofit she leads committed to protecting the environment. How old are these children? Oh, we've seen kids out there the age of six. About the same age American girls can take the Girl Scout oath and contribute to the annual sale of $800 million worth of cookies, treats that likely contain unsustainable palm oil. The ingredient label says as much. That certification seal verifies that palm oil produced through ethical standards is actually mixed with oils that may not be. And the industry reports only a fifth of global palm oil meets the sustainability standard. I said, listen, I need you to make the decision. If you think it's best not to sell, then we won't sell. But if we don't sell, you might not sell again. So she came to you with this problem. And then what happened? Then we all voted and we all, we all voted no. Yeah. It was unanimous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we all knew that it was for the greater good that we all stopped. Girl Scouts Leslie Lewis, Iris Ferdabello, and Trixie Goodall, along with their 11 other troop members, wrote the Girl Scouts of America demanding an ingredient change. Their response? a form letter via email. How do you take the, their response? It makes me sad. Yeah. Like something that we've, we've worked so hard for, which is the Girl Scouts, just for them to ignore it. Yeah, like they don't care. You feel ignored. And yes. disappointed. Yeah. And people who are supposed to like, we're supposed to make the world a better place, but we're not. The Girl Scouts of America says it's trying to find an alternative to palm oil, but currently there's nothing available on the market. The organization declined our request for an interview, releasing this statement saying in part, child labor has no place in the production of Girl Scout cookies. If certain suppliers are not following best practices, we expect the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil, of which the Girl Scouts is an affiliate member, to take action quickly. The RSPO is one of the trade organizations in charge of industry certification standards. Right now, only about 2% of globally traded palm oil is under the RSPO label. Just 2%? Exactly. That group also declined our interview request, but said in an email, 
We applaud Girl Scouts troops for drawing attention to some of the issues associated with unsustainable palm oil production. As for claims of child labor, the RSPO didn't deny the problem, but said while it can impose appropriate sanctions, it's not a policing organization. It added that it's setting the strictest certification standards currently applicable to the palm oil industry. Unfortunately, they can't be trusted because we've still been able to find connections with our PO certified uh, palm oil that's still connected to tropical deforestation and egregious labor practices. So it's really up to all of us, including the Girl Scouts, to apply pressure to the RSPO and the companies that are supplying uh, this palm oil that is still not sustainably sourced. Bigger eyes are watching too. The United Nations, for one, through its international labor organization. I do think it is important to understand that in global supply chains that you have a rather complex network of suppliers. Kevin Cassidy leads the U.S. division. There's always clever ways that people find around this, but I think what's really quite important is that if the legislation is in place, if the enforcement is in place, and the access to justice is in place, then those issues can be addressed uh, more firmly. As for that troop of Jersey girls, let's get started. They're ready? taking the bitter without their sweet. We still like Girl Scouts. Not that we don't like Girl Scouts. We do. We like, you know, our meetings and doing the things that we do, like the service projects. But, you know, the cookies right now are just either on hold or never. So there are hundreds of products with palm oil in it. The Girl Scouts cookie sale is a drop in the bucket. Why are you so focused on that? Because if we change, then it proves that the other companies can change too. Yeah. 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 And plus, we're Girl Scouts and we want to make the world a better place and use resources wisely. So the fact that we aren't using our resources wisely is kind of like, then what's the whole point of this? Every Girl Scout. <laughs> Well, Troop 12026 has been running service projects off of donations from their community. Parents have started to chip in, and even their troop leader, Gina, she's put up money to keep the troop running.